how to start a YouTube channel step-by-step -step guide for beginners. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I'm going to show you how to start a YouTube channel because actually starting is one of the most challenging things we can do. We can feel like, oh, I'm putting myself out there on YouTube and it can feel really intimidating, but actually it is very doable. So let's dive in and have a go. Hello, so one of the first things when it comes to creating your YouTube channel is actually to be thinking about who you're talking to. Because although YouTube is for everyone, at the same time, who is gonna be searching for your content? What type of content do you want to create? And the more that you can niche down into your category, the better. So we're gonna dive in and look at that. When you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, um, the first thing to do is really do your research. And so that means looking at people that have created content that is similar to your niche. And you want to really drill down in your niche. So understanding your niche. So let's say, for example, that you are a coach. So if you put in coaching, and as you can see, there's so many different topics about coaching. So coaching and mentoring, let's just bring that up and you can see all these different topics. So for example, one could be coaching versus mentoring to explain what you do. And so then actually using the topic coaching versus mentoring, what does it mean? So let's look at this. It might then be when you actually then said, what is the difference between coaching for versus mentoring? As you can see here, there's the coaching grow model, there's what is coaching, there's coaching leaders for skills for leaders, coaching with differences between coaching and counseling. So there's so many different topics that cover off and explain coaching. And so that's really the kind of, that's the starting point to give you ideas. From that, you then want to start looking at SEO and understanding your audience. So I have the vidIQ plugin here. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, but essentially, this is telling me like this topic, the volume um, and the competition. So actually for this topic, the competition is very low. The volume is there's a there's a good amount of volume, but very low competition. So you want to be choosing topics where it's very low to start with, because you want to be getting about less than 5000 search per month. So that means you want five each keywords that you use, let's say your, your title of your video is mentoring versus coaching, you want it to get um, a very small amount of search. Because if you're just starting out, you have no audience. So you want to make sure that you are ranking number one from an SEO perspective. You want to make sure that you're ranking number one from a perspective of being having no audience, but people using keywords and typing the, a topic into Google to find you. And so when they type the topic into Google, they want to find your video. So you want to make absolutely sure they're going to find your video. And so the smaller the niche, the better, but also the bigger the search. So the smaller the niche, the smaller the search, so about 5,000, but you also want to make sure that there's very little competition so that you can rank number one because you want to rank number one. Once you start ranking number one, then actually YouTube will start sharing your video with other people and that's how you can rank. And so it really matters how you research your video. So that is really key. The next thing to think about is then actually the graphics for your YouTube channel. So if we look at a YouTube channel in general, you want to then make sure that, like, let's go to my YouTube channel. So the next thing you want to think about is actually the graphics for the YouTube channel. So you want to think about the graphics of the, the banner, the thumbnails, and how you do this. So you want to have something that really stands out and each video to stand out look different. 
Um, and when you're looking at and comparing with other people, you want to make sure that you've got something that has a branding, has an awareness, but also ensures that you really stand out and compete with other people. So you can start off by using Canva. So we've got some designs, you know, just if you scroll down here, um, this is my thumbnail, but you can also then go to um, designs such as this one here. And you've got, so if I put this one in, this is um, a particular, so you've got, you'd add, add an image of yourself, the text of whatever the video was about, and just the, and then you could add your branding colors. But also it might be that you added different designs. I would say that something like this is way too small to be seen. And actually this is more like a, the, um, using for actually the um, rather than the thumbnail actually for the cover image because the cover image is basically the same proportions and size but only a small section of it actually shows up and so something like that could work um, but it, that doesn't work so well as a thumbnail so for a thumbnail you want something like this one for example that's like really dynamic that really stands out that you would go oh yes I want to know that so you could then use you know, images from Canva, but ideally you want to have images of, of yourself, but you could put in, if I take, swap out this, you know, you could have something like that. And um, whatever the title is, money, um, how to earn passive income. And you have to do it so it's a bit smaller, something like that. And, you know, that might help you to stand out on YouTube. So you want something that is really going to help you to stand out because you want to be stopping the scroll. Because remember, when people are clicking through, they're either going to find you from your homepage or they're going to find you um, from this is their particular homepage. So these are all the high ranking videos. So if you're just starting out, then actually they're not going to find you here. These are all videos that get thousands of views. So these videos you're not going to be able to compete with. But what you can do is when we click through to a particular video. So if we just, if we put that there. Now, if we scroll down, so under all of this, you will see these thumbnails. So this is where you might stand a chance when people start liking your channel and subscribing. It might be that your videos show up here. This is where you can improve your click through rate by actually having a thumbnail that stands out. And so if you have a thumbnail, unfortunately, these are all on Meghan Markle, so it doesn't really work. But if you have a thumbnail that stands out, then then people go, oh, What's that? Um, you want to make sure that your thumbnails stand out, that they have, you know, strong um, call to action, strong text that people, you know what the video is about and people think, oh, I want to watch that video. The other way that people are going to be finding you is actually through Google search. So when you're first starting out, one of the key ways that you are actually going to get found is through the power of Google and search. So when people type a question into Google, your video pops up. So if we were to take that example, so if we look at, if I typed into what is coaching and I type into Google, you will see that there is different videos, different blogs that show up. And here's some videos. And so these ones are, this is Mind Valley. So these are really big coaching videos. Okay. So you can then take that a stage further and then say, right, okay, I could also do a video because actually if you're in the top three, you're going to show up on the Google homepage about this topic. So a way you can actually work out what content and what title to use for your video is by using something like TubeBuddy. 
and it enables you to analyze your videos. So you can analyze the content and decide what content to use. So for example, if you are then um, going back to YouTube and you are then deciding, right, I am going to choose the topic of what's coaching. Okay. And then it might be that you drill down even further because remember that I said you want to make sure that you're as niche as possible. So it could be what is coaching in the workplace or what is coaching and mentoring or what is coaching ICF or all of these different titles or what is coaching definition. So the more niche you can make the title of your video, the more likely you are to rank number one because you want to be showing up in the top three videos that appear on the Google homepage search. So when people type in the t that question into Google, your video wants to show up because the more likely that your video shows up there, people are then gonna click through, watch your video, and then they might binge watch and watch several videos that you've created. And once they start watching one video, it might be they watch the second video or they then see another title in the section that's on the right hand side and they might then click through to watch another video of yours because they start recognizing it. And before you know it, they've watched 20 minutes of your videos, they've binge watched, they subscribe to your channel and they like what you do. And so that's why it's really important to make sure that you are thinking about SEO, about search when you are creating your YouTube channel. It's really, really important because you want to be showing up on Google when people are searching for particular topics. And that's why it really matters. So building a YouTube channel, really the first step is once you've created it, then consistently keeping going. And that can be really challenging. So it gets easier the more you do it, but you have to put one foot in the other and keep going even when it's challenging. If you need more support and help, I have a membership where we all support each other in our YouTube channels. If that is of interest, I'll put a link below. Otherwise, I would love you to subscribe and I'll see you around here again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye for now.